We appreciate you coming on. I was uh, just talking about your Senate race there. Uh, how are things going? I know you had a debate with uh, Ruben Gallego earlier there, or last week, I guess, or Sunday, starting the week off. How did things go? I, I, it looked like from what I saw, he didn't really have much. Uh, you you kind of cleaned his clock a bit. Well, that's the consensus. You know, it, he doesn't have much. He's got his record and his record is absolutely dismal. And so he's got to deal with what he's done for the past 10 years, which is mire us in more debt, which is tear open a one secure border. He's actually uh, pushed for uh, hits to Social Security and Medicare as well. So he's really hit against every single member uh, in Arizona. And our streets are not safe. His homeless population in his district is the fastest growing homeless population in the country. So he had that horrible record that he had to try to defend. And there is no defending it. So he tried to lie. And not to mention his horrible um, treatment of women in his past, his family connections to Mexican drug cartels. I mean, this guy's a real disaster. And I had to let the people of Arizona know about it. So we did really well. And we're out campaigning hard. Early voting has started, John, and mm -hmm. people are already getting out there to vote. And I feel really good about where we are. Our, our internal polling has shown me leading him by a hair. And I think that's important as we go into this. And you've got former President Trump. He's going to be there today. Do you think that he'll help in the campaign boost here today? Will you see him today? Will you be there in Prescott Valley? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm going to be seeing him in just a, a few hours. Um, we are so excited. I'm here in Prescott Valley right now. And we're waiting for the president uh, to arrive here in Arizona. Arizona loves President Trump, and it's always a big boost to everyone's campaign when he comes and gives us a business. So we're looking forward. Well, and and he, the other thing with Con uh, Congressman Gallego, so just to be clear for all of our viewers that aren't following this race as closely, uh, he's a member of Congress right now. He's running for Senate. But he's voted on a lot of these left-wing agenda. I want you to walk me through some of the things that he has supported in, in, while he's been in Congress. Well, he called the border wall a stupid, dumb border wall and said he would never, ever, ever fund it. And now he's trying to act like he likes the border wall, which is what I call the extreme makeover of Ruben Gallego. He's voted for uh, biological men participating in sports with our girls, which means our daughters and sisters will have to change clothes and shower in front of men. And people aren't for that. He's actually was the co-sponsor of the George Floyd legislation, which would have defunded the police nationwide and got rid of qualified immunity, which would have made our streets even more unsafe than they already are. Defunding the police, I'm sorry, if you're for defunding the police, you shouldn't even be running for office. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. And you can just go back to that progressive caucus in the House of Representatives where all of the bad ideas come from, the ideas that make us wonder what in the world's going on. And he was the leader of the progressive caucus who's voted with Kamala Harris and Joe Biden 100 percent of the time, even more than AOC and the squad. He's further to the left than Bernie. Um, he's further to the left than than, you know, you name it, any crazy of uh, Eric Swalwell, all those folks. Mm. And so he's the one who pushed, by the way, for FEMA to spend a billion dollars over the last two years on the illegals that are pouring in. And that's why the coffers are empty right now. And we can't afford to help Americans in need. Every bad idea he's got his fingerprints on. And I think Trump, he's really hit the message of the border in Arizona. This is what he had to say. He calls it Operation Aurora. He brought this up over the last few days. I'm going to play that sound bite and get your reaction to it. I will invoke the Alien Enemies Act of 1798 to target and dismantle every migrant criminal network operating on American soil. And we will call it Operation Aurora. That's what we're going to in honor of the people that have suffered in Aurora. But if they come back into our country, it's an automatic 10 years in jail with no possibility of parole. And I'm here by calling for the death penalty for any migrant that kills an American citizen or law enforcement officer. Do you think that former President Trump will hit yeah. that message again? in Arizona today uh, when, he's, when he attends this rally? I believe he will. I mean, we are suffering just as bad as Colorado. We have the trend of Aragua uh, gang that is here in Arizona. We have Chilean gangs that are robbing people. They're called the dinner time bandits. They're breaking into people's homes and robbing all of their valuables at dinner time. Um, this has been happening for the last three and a half years. And my opponent is never gonna vote for that. He's never gonna approve of that because he's, like I said, Family ties to the cartels, a convicted felon, mm.
close family member, his father, a convicted felon who was a drug trafficker for the cartels. This is somebody who's not going to get serious and come after the cartels. And as you heard there, President Trump wants to take on the cartels, take on the criminals who are pouring across our border. My opponent said he never wants to uh, get any, at least make anybody leave our uh, leave our country have come in illegally. Now he's changing his tune, but I want to see everybody who's poured in during the Biden invasion um, sent back to their homeland. We need to repatriate these people back to their homeland so that we can save our homeland. Absolutely correct. And, you know, it, it, we heard that messaging, Operation Aurora. I imagine he's going to touch on that again when he's in Arizona today. Uh, Republican Senate candidate Kerry Lake, thank you so much for taking time. I will be in Arizona for election night. So uh, we're looking hoping for forward to it. And for for your uh, viewers, go to carrylake.com, chip in and help. Five or ten dollars will help us get the ads out that we need to warn people about who my opponent is. Carrie Lakes, thank you so much. Uh, best of luck. Thank you. We'll be following it very closely. Thank you. All right, coming up next, we are going to.